Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to go ahead and start talking about measuring mass. So take a look at the materials you need for today. You'll need a pencil. You'll also need workbook pages 387 through 390. So take a minute to pause, collect the materials you need, and come on back when you're ready. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So today we're going to talk about measuring mass. Well, what is mass? Simply put, mass is the amount of matter in something. And guess what? All things are made up of matter. To find the mass of an object, you would simply use a scale. scale can tell us how much mass an object is made out of. Today we'll talk about grams and we'll talk about kilograms when measuring mass. When you're measuring objects that have less mass, they will likely be have a matter in grams. When you're measuring objects with more matter, they'll have a mass in kilograms. Let me show you what I mean. When you think about a gram, think about lighter objects. Think about a paper clip. Think about a penny. Think about a thumbtack. These objects are lighter, they have less matter. These are about one gram. So if we were to put these on a scale, and we can't actually now because we're doing this online, but if we were to actually measure these on a scale, they would measure about one gram. Okay, let's think about some objects that are heavier, objects that would have more matter. Those objects we would measure in kilograms. So a thousand grams actually makes up one kilogram. So a thousand paper clips would make up the mass of one kilogram. So I was looking in my cupboard and I found some things that were about one kilogram. And I found this trail mix. Okay? So this bag of trail mix, if you look at the bottom, it is 736 grams, I'm sorry, 737 grams. So it's not quite one kilogram, but it's almost, okay? So bigger objects. I also found some oats, and when you look at the bottom, at how much this weighs, 907 grams. So it's just less of one kilogram. But I wanted to show you the difference between one gram and one kilogram. This is for heavier objects. Okay, let's take a second right now and I want you to find the page it's marked 388. So take a minute and go ahead and find that page. Okay, let's take a peek. This page says that we will be estimating the mass of each object. Well, unfortunately, we can't do that because we're not together in school and we would have our balances out and our scales and we'd be playing around with this. But let's take the information that I gave you. So let's go ahead and cross this off. We're not gonna estimate. But let's just list some of those objects that were about a gram. So a penny. weighed about one gram, or we can abbreviate that, one G. Something else that was about one gram was a paper clip. 
Okay, a paper clip was about one gram or one G. So grams are those lighter objects. You would measure things in grams that are lighter weight. So let's think about those things that were about a kilogram. So let's make a note up here that 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. Okay, so let's think about my trail mix. My trail mix was about, there's our symbol for about, if you remember from rounding, one kilogram. And we can abbreviate with kg. The other thing I found was my rolled oats. It wasn't quite a kilogram, but it was about one kilogram. So here's the big takeaway, what I want you to remember. Grams are those objects that have less matter those lighter weight objects. And kilograms are those objects that are a little, that are heavier, those objects that have more matter. Okay, let's go ahead, turn the page, and let's look on 387. And let's decide if we would use grams or kilograms. Keeping in mind what we just talked about, grams are those objects that have less matter. Kilograms are those objects that have more matter. So a couch, would you measure a couch in grams or kilograms? Right, definitely kilograms. Remember, one gram is about a paper clip. What about a hummingbird? Kilograms or grams? Yes, grams. All right, let's continue. So if we have a pair of glasses, and I'm talking about the ones that you would put on your face, so sunglasses or eyeglasses to help you see, would that weigh 60 grams or six kilograms? Remember, my rolled oats here was one kilogram, about. So what makes sense? Glasses, 60 grams, 60 paper clips, or six of my rolled oats? Right, grams. Okay, let's go on with the watermelon. What do you think about a water, how a watermelon would weigh? Would it weigh 800 grams? So would it weigh just a little, less than my oats or about my oats or would it weigh eight kilograms eight of my oats now i'm picturing that giant big watermelon that you would have to cut up i would say eight kilograms what about a bag of oranges 20 grams or two kilograms? 20 paper clips? Or two of my oats? What do you think a bag of oranges would be? Probably two of my oats. And the last one, an apple. Would an apple be 18 kilograms? 18 of my bag of oats? or 100 paper, 180 paper clips. Yeah, probably 180 paper clips makes sense. What's a reasonable guess? All right, there's one more thing we'll go ahead and do together before I send you off on your own, and that is on page 389. So let's just do a little bit of problem solving with mass. We will do questions one and two together. You'll do three and four, 
as part of your homework. Okay, let's take a look at number one. Chiang used 250 grams of flour to make waffles. Later she used 130 grams of flour to make muffins. How much flour did she use? What are we going to do here? Are we putting flour together or are we taking apart? We know she used 250 and then she used 130 grams. So you're right, we would put them together. 250 plus 130. Okay, so let's go ahead and use our partial sums. 200 plus 100 equals 300. 50 plus 30. 50 plus 30 equals 80. 300 plus 80 equals 380 grams of flour. Now if you added that a different way and got the same answer, of course that's fine too. Okay, let's go ahead and check out number two. An elephant at the zoo ate 92 kilograms of food on Monday, 119 kilograms of food on Tuesday, how many kilograms of food did the elephant eat in all? So we know what the elephant ate on Monday. We know what the elephant ate on Tuesday. We want to know how much in all. So for this one, we're putting together, which is adding 119 plus 92. All right, let's go ahead with our partial sums. So we know we have 100, 10 plus 90 equals another 100, and then we have 9 ones plus 2 ones equals 11. So let's go ahead and put it all together. 211 grams. I'm sorry, kilograms of food. It doesn't look very neat. 211 kilograms of food. Okay, so your homework then today is to complete questions three and four and then on the back, page 390, go ahead and complete numbers one through six. Okay, keeping in mind a quick review of what we talked about for measuring mass. Mass, all things are made up of matter. We can use a scale to measure mass, either grams or kilograms. Grams are lighter objects, they have less mass and less matter. And then we have kilograms, are those heavier objects that have more matter and more mass. Okay, good luck, have a good day.